Hello, and welcome to Nextstar's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Visual Force Workbook. This video covers Tutorial 12, Using Extensions to Add Functionality. If you've been working through our previous tutorials, you're already familiar with standard controllers and the features they provide. They provide such functionality as automatic record retrieval, saving, and updating. But sometimes you want to add additional functionality, sometimes processing or other kinds of record retrieval that may not be standard. You can do this by adding a controller extension, which is a custom Apex class that contains functionality that can be accessed from your Visual Force page. That's what we're going to talk about in today's tutorial. To get started creating our new controller extension, we're going to go ahead and click on Develop, Apex Classes. Then we're going to go ahead and click on New. So this will be our first Apex class, and if you're familiar with Java or other object-oriented programming, you'll begin to see the structure right away. This is what our extension needs to look like. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and walk through this little code snippet here. Our extension is named my extension, and it contains one variable called ACCT of type account, and it's got two methods. It's got a constructor, and it's got a get title method that returns a string. Now the constructor needs a little bit of explanation. Like if you're if you're familiar with object-oriented programming, you understand that the constructor is a method that is called when an object is instantiated. So as soon as we put this extension to use and it gets called, this method will be the first thing that gets called. And the constructor accepts as an argument the standard controller of the of the page on which it lives. And all the constructor does is set its ACCT variable to the record from the standard controller and typecast it as an account. So basically, the one variable that this object has, when it's instantiated, it goes to the standard controller and says, hey, what record are we talking about? And typecast it as an account. So ACCT now as soon as this extension gets instantiated, first thing it does is set the ACCT variable to the current record, assuming it's an account. Now, the one method that we're adding here, this get title, it's returning account colon, the name of the account, and then the account ID in parentheses. So it's basically just returning a, a nicely formatted title string. And that's it. This is our first example of a, of a controller extension. We're going to go ahead and put this to work and show you how to implement a controller extension. First, let's save this. And now we're going to go ahead and create ourselves a new Visual Force page. And we're going to call this page My Account with extension click create now down here in the page editor we are going to set up the page like this so the first thing is you'll notice is that we're using the account standard controller, which makes sense given our extension. And we're tying our extension to it. So extensions equals my extension. So we're using the account standard controller and we're adding onto it with our extension we just created. And now the body of the page, you'll see uh, the first thing it says is title. This little snippet of Apex code is actually what is going to put our extension to use. All right, and then below the title, you'll see a form with the account name and a command button to save. So this is a variation on tutorial eight, inputting data with forms. So let's go ahead and save this. 
all right and you'll see you say account is null and null since we're not referencing any accounts so let's go and grab an account to reference and I'm gonna grab this express logistics and transport again grab that ID And now you can see our new Visual Force page, my account with extension. When we reference an account, the title string right here, account colon, name of the account, and the account ID, this is being built by calling the get title method that we created using our extension. So this kind of pulls everything together, how you can create your own extensions that build on the standard controllers to give you additional functionality and then simply just call them from Visual Force pages. That concludes our introduction to controller extensions. In our next video, we'll cover tutorial 13, creating and using custom controllers. Thank you for joining us. For more great content, please follow us on Google+.